What is going on guys, it is Echo and welcome to a Minecraft title update 14 question and answer video. Now this is the fourth episode, it is getting even more demanded. Now look at this on screen, I've had over 1000 comments on the last episode so thank you everyone who did leave a comment. Obviously I'm very limited to what questions I can answer, also some of the questions you guys are asking me have been answered in previous videos so make sure you do go and check them out also I did say if we can hit 500 likes I would push out the next video even quicker well look at this on screen we have nearly 18,000 views we have over 1,100 likes so oh my god that is incredible so I can see you guys are very very in high demand of this series now I've had some great questions I went through the majority of the comments, which did take a good two hours. Um, but like I said, some of the questions have been answered in previous videos. Now, there is some very unique questions in this episode. Some are linked to title update 14. Others are very good general questions, which I think deserve to be answered. So, hopefully you do fully enjoy it. If we can smash 1,000 likes again, well then, you guys are truly, truly awesome. So, let's check out this first comment. Now, Michael Duffy asked... Is there going to be god apples? Now god apples are just golden apples, but they have more ability, they are more useful. I believe they give you regeneration, resistance, and fire resistance. Now a lot of people enjoy these on the PC version when attacking the ender dragon or the wither boss because they are very, very useful. Not only do they heal your health, they give you special abilities as well. Now people have asked me about this in the past and Forge Studios have never given us a direct answer on this and with title update 14 being the biggest update since title update 9, I don't see why they wouldn't sneak this in. It would be very, very simple to do. Um, so I'm going to say it's a very, very high maybe. I did like that question. It was something different. So thank you there, Michael. So the next question says... Echo, will TU14 introduce name tags and will we be able to enchant our fishing rods? Well, name tags are in a later update, that is for sure. They weren't introduced in 1.3.1, but if they are brought forward, like 4 Studios did say a few things would, then I reckon it would be a great addition. As for enchanting fishing rods, I cannot remember when this was introduced to the game, but we have to be very, very realistic here. They're not going to introduce everything in this update because if they did, this means it leaves no room for future additions. And when you look forward to the next update, you'd be like, I'm not really looking forward to it because we already have a lot of great features. So they are going to limit to what they will introduce for that reason. But great question. Moving on. Robert Hughes asked, Echo, will there be witches in TU14? Because there are some pretty big things coming already. Now you are right, there was many great additions that are already confirmed in title update 14, but I strongly believe witches will be coming. Why? Because they are in the 1.3.1 PC version, which is what TU14 is based off. So I do like that question, but you have to remember guys, some of the things that you are asking me are from way, way forward in future updates so moving on to the next question the next question is echo is it possible that we will be getting stained glass or shaded glass into you 14 now i'm going to strongly say no here because this was a great feature not long ago introduced on the pc version although a lot of people will love to see this into you 14 i strongly believe it won't be introduced so the next question is Chisel Quartz Blocks, again from Robert Hughes. Now the reason why I think he's asking this is because we know that we're going to get Quartz a block, we're going to get Quartz stairs, but chiseled things seem to be slightly behind, so I'm going to say yes because I feel if they're going to introduce the other two, why would they hold back and not introduce this as well? So thank you again Robert Hughes. Next question, will there be cross gameplay or cross play between Xbox One and Xbox 360? Now I like this question, it's not linked to title update 4. But it's a lot of things people keep asking. Now I do believe the PS Vita version and the X, uh, the PlayStation 4 version will be cross-play, and um, because a lot of games between them are cross-play. But as for Xbox 360 and Xbox One, I'm gonna have to say no because of the differences. Xbox One's gonna have more features, bigger worlds, more people in the game. So I'm gonna have to say no there. It would be pretty cool if they could do that though. Great question, Storm Hunter. Next one is a big one from William Green. Hey Echo, do you think that there will be another screenshot from Mojang telling us more about TU14? Also in your own guess, when do you think TU14 will come out? Because I need your opinion. I always watch your videos and I would also like to know what happened to your world. So let me get into this first part. 
Mojang aren't the ones showing us the screenshots, it is 4G Studios and they will bring more to the table, they do, they like to tease us and keep people up to date on what's going on. As for when TU14 will be released, my guess is the next 4-6 to six weeks, remember it's a very very big update, SIR testing can take up to 2 weeks and if it fails, another 2 weeks. Um, but thank you for that question, I did like that, uh, moving on to the next one. Will there be command blocks? Like this comment if you want command blocks, I do. Now command blocks are linked to adventure mode. Um, and I'm thinking if adventure mode is introduced that they have to and in they have to put something along the lines of command blocks or command features so people can change. It would be great, I feel that a lot of people have wanted to see the command blocks for a long, long time. So I can't give you a direct answer. I did cover this in the last episode anyway. Uh, next question, got a lot of likes. John Fraser, will they introduce coal and redstone blocks? Now, I don't think they will um, because this was a feature in, I believe it's like 1.5. I believe they introduced the coal and redstone blocks. So I'm going to have to say no, unless that is a feature that they want to bring forward for various reasons. So the next one. Will there be more people in multiplayer and will they bring in servers? So I'm guessing this is linked to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now as for servers, there is a possibility that servers could be on Xbox One because Microsoft themselves did say if the companies want to support servers on their games, they are free to do so. The ability is there. Now as for what 40 Studios wanting to do that, that is down to them as a company. If they want to do it, then they can do it. But if they don't, they will come up and say, we're not doing it for this reason or for that reason. So I'm going to have to say we're going to have to wait a good couple of months until we hear anything linked to that. But I did like that question as well. So the next question, will they, will they add where you can add colours for the leather armour? Now leather armour was a massive hint given to us in a title update 12 screenshot which was done by Play Xbox Live Arcade themselves. Now there was a big question, is that dyed armour or coloured armour? Um, but I don't know whether this will. I would love to see it introduced. In fact, I'm going to say yes because a lot of people have asked about this and 4 Studios like to introduce things people want to see. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to say yes and a lot of people did thumbs that one up as well. So next question, will there be fireworks? Now fireworks are in the files of PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. A lot of people have seen them. Obviously, they are blatantly there, but will they be unlocked this time round? Um, I'm going to have to say it's a maybe on this one. I don't want to give direct answers in case I am wrong, um, but they are inside the coding. They are inside the files, which I have seen myself multiple times. Uh, the man who eats pie said, to be honest, I would love to see hoppers. Do you think they will introduce them? This is a future update. They're going to hold back on this because it's such a demanded thing. Hoppers is something a lot of people want to see. I feel they're going to hold back on this official uh, feature for something to look forward to in the future. Um, but yeah, I did like that one as well. A lot of people keep asking me. Suzetta asked, if we get horses, will we get donkeys? Please answer Echo. Yes, we will get them all. We will get horses, donkeys, mules. And um, because they're not going to introduce one thing and then hold back for later updates, that would kind of split that a feature up a little bit. And a lot of people will get very, very angry. So if we do get horses, we will get the rest as well. Um, so I believe this is the final question of this episode. Uh, it says, maybe if you leave that chunk of the area and come back to it later, would you have added new things because of the chunk unloaded? Now this is related to my world. Um, a lot of the features that are introduced, you do have to create new worlds for them to take effect. Now I'm answering this question in this video because a lot of my world is unexplored. And I believe if you do unexplore it and leave it to the next update to be introduced, there is a very high chance or possibility that feature might be in one of the corner of your world. So I wanted to answer that, although it's not linked to title update 14 or the Minecraft next gen, I wanted to clear that up in case people didn't know. I haven't tried it, so if you have tried it and you've noticed that in your old world, say a TU9 world, uh, and then in TU12 came out, there was a jungle biome in your world, uh, let me know in the comments, but guys, this has been incredible. I do fully enjoy doing these episodes. Uh, it's very, very high in demand. We hit 1,100 and something likes last time. Let's see if we can do the same again. I would highly appreciate it. Also, if you feel a question has been unanswered in the past few episodes, leave a comment down below and maybe you'll be in the next video. Also, if you see a comment you agree on, make sure you thumbs it up, because that way I can check these comments out first. I've been Echo. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time.